Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Q here, back with our draft analysis for our own team for YCL Wi-Fi Standard Week or Season Four. I had to make it known that this was our own drafted team because we indeed, indeed, yo, I can't talk. We did pick up a team for another player or coach who had dropped. So this is to make sure you guys know this is a team that we actually drafted. Now. I'm pretty content with this team, I won't lie. I felt like it had a lot more balance than I thought I was going to get out of it in terms of the drafting. But uh, before we get into it, let's look at what we got. Tiers on the left, S through F, with a point system, 11 mons total. Had to make it count towards the points and equal out. I think it was like 960, something like that. Um, tiers are, again, S, A, B, C, D, E, F. If you look closely, we don't even have a D because we end up picking double S tier. That's right, two S tier mons. Um, we avoided picking up S plus just because we were later off or later in the draft and there wasn't one that I really liked in particular to pick enough to pick up. That being said, um, I think one of the things I really kept in mind when drafting this team was that if you guys look at all the leagues I've participated in since like last year when I started this up again and uploading competitive videos, I tend to stay or stick towards the same ons and I really want to get out of my comfort zone with this team and play different months and just pick up as much information by using them as possible um a good example like i used to use type null a lot and it was become a, because i became comfortable with type null i knew how much damage he could take i knew how much damage he could do i can knew the better sets to use in what scenarios i knew how to get out of sticky situations and his move pool and such so you know being in these leagues for the past year i've seen that i definitely need to learn a lot more in terms of competitive play um and that comes from being out of the game so long and i need to just be able to adapt to the situation and establish win cons based on the teams and the situation to make sure that I consistently win that being said if you guys saw my previous play style i used to be like more of a scrappy fast hitting person uh, you know kind of just start swinging not thinking about it you know not going with the more predictive or obvious play um you know and uh, those situations tend to lead to a loss if you do, if you take a roll 50 50, are you gonna switch? Are you gonna do this? But and then, you know, you come down to the thing where is their mon scarf? You know, getting KO'd that early with uh, one of your sweepers or one of your mons with the wider coverage is a really detrimental thing to have happen to you. And I learned that, you know, maybe I do need to change my play style a bit in order to win. Because it's all about winning, right? <laughs> but we're looking to definitely be one of the top tier teams this season so let's get into curium number one man ice dragon crazy move pool hard hitting can run life orbs choice specs um heavy duty boots if we're afraid of rocks stuff like that we saw bishmi put in work with this curium you know slapping dracos everywhere hoping that our draco percentage or our field goal percentage for draco actually increases you'll understand that meme once you watch my bgc battle with arts rillaboom man like i said looking for more control rillaboom has great access to priority moves fake out grassy glide and has a wide move pool drain punch u-turn um a lot a lot of different moves again that are very very useful you can build them tanky you can build them offensive um that being said this video actually is being done after my week one battle because i honestly forgot about it and you're gonna see like that i didn't take the generic set that somebody might have like put up on small gun or something i kind of assessed the team that i was playing against and said i need this set like i needed it and you're gonna understand why i'm i'm making a, like an actual statement about it right now when you watch that video um i'm not gonna say who won either but it was definitely a fun game um another thing that i've tried to tend to take into account is like looking at these comps people try to analyze your core you know being like maybe volcanion ferrothor and curium and saying, well, he's gotta bring Volcanion, right? That's fire and water. And you know, my weak point I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't even show up with Volcanion. And uh, the opponent, they even said to me, they were expecting Volcanion, they're really expecting Volcanion. Uh, Cause he's hard hitting. But sometimes you have to do what's not expected. And that's something I've also learned and started to adapt towards, you know, in my battles. Um, Ferrothorn, huge wall. Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet can be really annoying. I won't lie and uh having those hazards set up that's detrimental if you're behind the turn and you need to catch up may forcing them to potentially defog rapid spin just you know remove hazards kind of brings you back up to speed wide move pool on volcanion with the crazy dual typing fire and water 
awesome month. Didn't need a week one, like I said, but it's definitely awesome to have. Um, Drapion, 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 Drapion. Only having that weakness to ground, really. Great Mon again, great knockoff stab Mon. So definitely thought I should have it. Ability to set spikes, you know, I think hazards, like I said, are gonna be a real big factor for me this season, potentially. I was suffering to rocks last season a lot, man. I won't lie. Bish me beat me because of toxic spikes before. <laughs> it happens. What are you gonna do? But you know, this is this is why you have to adapt, learn, and play better. Moving on to bravery now. This is something that I wasn't too sure about. This team, like I said, I was really content with. I felt like I had a lot of good balance. The only thing I really was missing was a ghost type. That being said, before bravery or Braviary, it was a flying type or a decent flying type that I was lacking. And I didn't expect to be in that situation. I was really, really, really pushing towards Mandy Buzz, but it got sniped two months before. <sighs> got me upset. I really would like to pick up Mandy Buzz. Crazy move pool. Again, another stab, stab knockoff with U-turn and stuff. Crazy. But I didn't get it. And uh, I'm content with Braviary. But if you look further down the list, there's a Molga there too. I had a Molga a bunch of times before, and it did have its moments in terms of clutch. So it was definitely worth if I needed another flying mon and I'm down to the points, which was like 20 for F, to have a Molga with the dual typing again. Uh, this team is more about control, more about like sl maybe slower paced gameplay and more calculated efforts. I'm not saying I'm gonna run a calc every time we play, but you know, I need to make moves that I'm more sure of instead of saying, well, I should be faster or I should be able to kill, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm running a lower, I guess, speed, base speed team. And I had to ensure that I had one web setter, the scale Valanchula. It's not always necessary. You don't always need it. There are different ways to get around it, but it's good to have it just in case. Also dual typing bug electric. Um, you know, like I said, control guys, control. We got to adapt, change the play style a little bit. We want to increase the win percentages. We got to get more bragging rights. We got to beat Arts, Bishmi, Carlos. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why we're here, really, to improve. Um, next one, hit him on top. Awesome Mon. He's the Intimidator. The wall with the hazard removal, too. Has good access to moves for certain situations. Claydol. Claydol, 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 Claydol. Clean clutch week one. Make sure you check out the video again. Um, really good typing. Rock Psychic with Levitate. Dodging the ground moves. So it's not only um, the flying types that I have to avoid ground attack um, and the move pool is crazy. Where's Ice Beam? I don't know. Sometimes these move pools be crazy, but it was definitely worth the pickup. Uh, Amolga, y'all know the vibes. Fast as heck. Electric and flying. Pretty good. Now Morgrim, I know everybody sleeps on Morgrim because he's not Grimstone, but he's still got Prankster, guys. I told you it's more about control. That's why we've got these priority plays on Rillaboom, Hitmontop, and Morgrim. Prankster, baby. T-Wave, it's crazy. Screens, it's crazy. It's all a good move, I feel. I feel the team is well balanced. And like I said, the only thing I might lack is speed, but I think I made up for it. Or I felt I made up for it in the drafting process by building this kind of a team. All right. That being said, guys, I hope that you do like the video, subscribe to the channel. And don't miss a battle. This season going to be crazy. Week one is already up, done. Battle is going to be up. Uh, what's today? Saturday in a week? Make sure you guys do watch it then. It's a crazy, crazy battle. It was awesome. It was close. It was so much fun for a week one. And it was awesome when to start the league. All right. That being said, I'll see you all next time. Kiwi out.